name is Petrona Latourine and I am a music teacher and a mental coach at Music for You Masters, a new kind of music school. Uh, today I'm going to share with you a little bit of how to handle um, nervosity during uh, a presentation in front of people or when you perform during a concert because I'm pretty sure a lot of musicians already felt the anxiety and stress that being on stage can uh, bring. So I'm gonna start with a, a case that I had recently with a client. It was a swing player at the conservatorium and she had a lot of problems with her stress and she practiced really a lot. She was really dedicated with her instrument and she really tried very hard and worked hard in order to play very well. But during exams and important concerts, she just got too nervous to play and her hands were um, trembling and her finger gets long. Uh, so I tried, me as a coach, I tried to um, figure out how I can help her. So first I need to know what, exactly what is happening physically with her. And she said the finger was long, she um, uh, got very dry in her mouth, she had problem with breathing, she started to walk around a lot uh, in the room, she had an upset stomach, uh, and in her mind she started to think oh my god I'm not good enough I cannot do this I don't have the skill enough uh, sometimes she even thought why am I even doing this I can't do anything about this and she thought that she would get the worst grade ever and people would think that she's super bad and yeah a lot of this kind of thought that I think a lot of us musicians and people who stand in front of other people in general have uh, experience once or twice our life at least so what I do as a coach is to figure out how to fix this and on her I choose to uh, use a method that Shell Enhager uh, uses, is a Swedish uh, mental trainer who used to train the golf team in Sweden with a very uh, big success and his method is quite simple. If you know how you get nervous, what happens when you get nervous, you can reverse it. If you do the, the opposite, you will have the opposite effect. So if you're really good at getting nervous, it means actually that you're really good at not getting nervous as well. You have all the potential to being relaxed during concerts. So congratulations. So what you need to do is the opposite. Change your behavior to the opposite. So if you start to walk a lot in the room, you have to stop walking and be quiet and still, maybe sit down even. If you start to have problems with breathing, you have to breathe a lot. Um, if you start trembling and stuff, there is another chapter for that, but that will take another video to explain for you. And if your mind starts to imagining the worst possible things that can happen, you failing, getting a bad grade, people laughing at you, you play the wrong notes, you get super nervous, you have to imagine the exact opposite. You have to imagine that everything goes super good that you can see for your inner eye what happens and that is successful, that is going good. So the key to not being nervous on stage, for my client at least, was um, to do the opposite, reverse the behavior. So if you know how to get nervous, you also can learn how to not get nervous. This is one method that you can use. There is more and there is of course a single solution for every single person in the world. Uh, but that's all for today. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the future for more videos.